Hi there, my name is Craig Connolly. Welcome to the channel. Today we are going to put SE ranking head to head with AH refs. So these are both SEO tools. Uh, a lot of people use AH refs, they've been around for a long time. SE ranking, not many people have heard of them. They're an up and coming company. Their pricing is considerably cheaper than AH refs, and for me, it does the very same thing. So I've switched from AH refs to SE ranking. I'm not going to be biased in my report. I'm just going to show you how I use it, what I'm paying, and then you can make your own decision from there. If you want to get a trial on SE ranking, there is a link below, and uh, they will happily give you a trial, and I think you'll be pretty impressed. So let's just jump into the pricing and start off with that. Now, SE ranking is, their pricing is flexible. You can go annual and save money, the same as you can with uh, AHREFs, but if you want to check your uh, projects weekly then you save a lot of money if you want to go daily the price increases dramatically so for me I'm doing weekly and I'm just paying monthly and it's $23.40 per month so you can track 250 keywords 5,000 keyword checks in total now I've got to be honest with you both of these pricing uh, way they describe things is quite hard to follow and I'll show you within the platform how generous SE ranking is with this low price of what you can actually do per day. So what I use it for, what I was using AHRS for and what I'm using SE ranking for now is for going in and hitting domain names, competitive domains, looking for backlinks, strength, what they're ranking for, uh, what their sort of strategy is around, you know, are they doing videos, are they doing snippets, etc. So both tools do it very well. SE Ranking does it at a much cheaper rate. So let's look at the pricing for AHREFs, and it starts at $99. You can reduce that to $82 if you pay $990 per year, and then $1,800 uh, for the most popular one there, and it goes up from there. So even at monthly, it's very hard to put these two side by side because of the terminology that they actually use. And for instance, the backlinks, yeah, link intersect rows, export rows, etc., etc. I mean, SE ranking just tell you how many backlinks they monitor, pretty much. So there is a way with SE ranking where if you don't add the backlinks to a project, you can get a hundred domains per day that you can interrogate to look at the backlink profile. So, and that data is saved. So if you've got your own website on there, then yeah, you don't need to add it to a project. So that's just one way to get around uh, using up your four thousand keywords. So let's just jump in and have a look. Now what I've got here is I've got a uh, affiliate site of mine. Uh, this is quite a small site, does pretty well. And for obvious reasons, I've got to block the name out. But this is a good one because I've got this in Ahrefs. So I've also got it in SE ranking. So we can do a side-by-side -side comparison. So just uh, unfortunately, I have to block things out, as I said. So if we start off with Ahrefs, they are saying I've got 1,100 backlinks from 283 domains and a domain uh, rating of 26. So SE ranking, and SE ranking shows I've got a domain trust of 23, uh, page trust of four, I have 3,400 backlinks from 339 referring domains. So they are showing more backlinks than Ahrefs, and the, I can't, we can't really compare the domain ratings because they work on different things. So. Something in Ahrefs that does stand out is the organic traffic they're estimating is worth uh, two, is 241 per month, which is totally wrong. So I don't know where they get that figure from, but unless I'm reading it incorrectly, but uh, I get around about four or five thousand um, unique page views per month from organic traffic, and yeah, so that could be. The target website subsection or URLs estimated monthly organic traffic from search knowledge. That's totally wrong. But never mind. We don't really get that in SE ranking. I don't think they don't sort of give us a, let's see if, let's see if they give us uh, traffic. Can't see anything about traffic there. Referring domains, total back links, new and lost domains. And then they show the referring anchors. And you can come in here and you can see the referring domains. And you can see active, new, lost. You can look at the backlink profiles. You look at the anchor text. So you can do everything that you can in Ahrefs uh, very, very easily. And you get an account limit of 20 domain names per day that you can interrogate. So, you know, very, very generous there. So the next thing that I do 
uh, on a regular basis is I jump into competitive research. And competitive research is where I am looking at a competitor and I can do a hundred of these per day. This is a website, this is my new website and it's, it's just new, there's not much on there at the moment but you know, I can jump in and I can, I can do a hundred, there it is there on the top right hand side, I can do a hundred of these per day for $23.40 per month. I think that's in, in, incredible. So that's one thing. The other thing you can do is backlink checker. So you can dive into backlink checker. Now the backlink checker is where you just put in any domain name and you've got a history here. And once again, you can do 20 of these per day. So, you know, very, very generous. I'll just click on this one here and you can get all the information here and how many backlinks there are. So this is great if you're buying age domain names, which is what I, I do quite a bit of. So. You can go through, you can grab any domain name, chuck it in up to 20 per day. And if you need more than that, obviously you can just sneak your plan up a little bit here. You'd come back to your plan and you'd say, okay, well, I actually want to increase that to you know 500 keywords. So you go up another $8 per month. So that's very useful. You can go in and see all the referring domains. You can go and see the actual backlinks. You can see anchor text. You can see the actual pages that have backlinks to them. You, know, you can do everything that you need to do that Ahrefs does as well. Now, if I go into Ahrefs, all the stuff on the left-hand side here, I didn't really use it very much, but the same thing applies. You can go into SE Ranking, and they have similar menus on the left-hand side, probably not as detailed as that, but enough information for what I do. Now, I work on my own. I don't have hundreds of clients that I'm doing SEO for. I do my own sites, and I have some customers I'm doing SEO for. Um, I used to have a lot of customers for SEO prior to 2007, so <laughs> showing my age. The great Google update. What else can I tell you about it? Let's go back to uh, keyword research. And keyword research is really, really good if you want to find low competition keywords. That's the other thing that a lot of people use Ahrefs for, is that you can do heaps and heaps and heaps of interrogation. So if I just put a keyword in, we'll go to America because it'd be more volume. I'll put um, succulent, uh, succulent, succulents, succulent plants, that'll do. We'll get that and see how quickly it comes up. So difficulty score 62. And I can do a hundred of those per day. Okay, so very, very generous. What I can do here is go into the detailed report and I can slam in a filter on the difficulty score and put zero to 20. And I want a minimum of 500 per month. Apply filters. Straight away, we've got a whole list of domain, uh, sorry, keyword searches uh, with a volume of search with the SERP results there and PPC pricing, competition and difficulty score. So this one here, Mike, Miracle Grow Succulent Plant Food, 720. Well, that's someone looking to buy that. So there's low competition. If you were you know, wanting to rank for that term, you could do that pretty easily, I would think. Took the thing. Now, there's a report builder here. So if you're doing uh, reporting for clients, that's where you do your reporting in here. You can do a manual one. You can schedule them. There's templates that you can actually use. I do video reports for my customers with updates. So I don't really use PDF type reporting. Uh, I've found over the years that it's far more effective to do videos. They understand better. Tools, you've got on-page SEO checker, search engine auto complete. Oops. Okay, here they are here. So these are the things you can use. Uh, search, you know, there's search engine auto complete, there's on-page SEO checker, index status, parameter checker, blah, blah, blah. So that's an Alexa rank check for one or more websites. So all, yeah, everything that Ahrefs does for what I do in my work, SE, rate, SE ranking does at a way, way, way cheaper price. So for me, I'm using SE ranking. I'm also using Authoritas. There is a link above uh, in a card if you want to go and check out that report there. Very different software, very project based. So it's more for sites that you are you know, working on continuously and you can set them up as projects. And there's some incredible data in Authoritas. Authoritas is a brilliant bit of software. SE ranking I'm using for sort of smashing things out every day, interrogating competition, looking at domains, looking at uh, keywords, finding low competition keywords. Yeah. Okay guys, I'm gonna leave it at that for now. 
didn't want to get into like a massively technical uh, side by side comparison because that is just something that's going to take too long to do. But I want to just run through quickly and show you the things that SE ranking can do versus Ahrefs, and then you can go and get a trial dive around, see if it does what you do with Ahrefs every day. And look, if it doesn't meet the bill, let me know in the comments below. I'd be really interested. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you. Catch you next video.